Okay, um, hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Call Me Chris, you can call me Chris, and no, I have not been kidnapped <laughs> despite it looking like it. Um, <laughs> this is not my office. I am currently in a bathroom in Texas, a temporary bathroom at that, but I just thought I would um, just kind of sit down and maybe do a little get ready with me while I tell you what the heck's going on. And also, you're looking beautiful today. And yes, even if you're a boy, you can be called beautiful too because you're looking absolutely beautiful and I just hope you know that all right I don't think you believe me and just know that you are all right there we go okay let's talk so first product that I'm gonna be using is I've been influenced okay I watched TikTok I was influenced and I bought this the Anua Heartleaf toner not sponsored I just I think it's great I don't know if it's working I think it might be but I'm just gonna I'm gonna put that on my face it's also eight o'clock at night I'm not trying to trick you I, I just don't want to sit here and talk at the camera and not do anything I don't know if this is entertaining at all we're gonna do this anyway a new cleanser I'm gonna be the new beauty guru in this video we need a cotton pad first and then we'll get into the tea also so sorry Jay for this terrible sound reverb and for the terrible lighting and for my terrible face. All right, so we're just gonna slap that on. I see some people do this with their fingers. My fingers are nasty and I don't wash them enough, so cotton pad. First off, I am leaving. I'm leaving the country I currently live in. <laughs> I'm moving. I'm moving again and I'm moving to the United States of America. <laughs> Never thought those words would come out of my mouth and um, it's all because of a boy. Just plain and simple, basically. But we'll get into that a little bit more. Next is my go-to moisturizer I've been using for about six months now. And this has single-handedly changed my skin. I was sent this by a creator, because this is a creator's brand. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. I loved it so much. And now I'm partnering with them because I love it so much. This video is also to tell you about um, this project that we've kind of been working on, uh, which is really exciting, which is 1UP. I've been personally just tired of all of the products that are shoved specifically in women's faces. Like, I feel like we, need, we all need like a 10 product skincare routine or your face is gonna blow up or something. And I'm a simple bitch. All right. I'm a simple bitch. I need a simple routine. Otherwise I can't stick to it. And I have sensitive skin. I have dry skin. And this basically is one and done. It's a moisturizer. It's a serum. It's a lifter. It's a, it's UV resistant. It's got Vita Boost. It's got niacinamide. It's got all of the ingredients just in one rather than getting 85,000 different bottles of something. And basically it's one up. It's just one pump. So you just, mine looks crusty though, because I've been using it so often. She's, she's a little rough. Still works like a charm. You literally just pump it. That's all you need. And then you know how many pumps are in here. So it's just once a day, one pump, and that's it. And it feels so nice. It's got a very, very slight scent. It's really, really light, which I like, but also super moisturizing because my skin is like the, the Sahara, okay? So I need moisture and this provides all the moisture I need. I'll use it usually once, maybe twice a day, but I usually put it on in the morning and once at night. And it is awesome. And I also love it because basically we're just single-handedly disrupting the skincare space because all these just massive skincare companies just want to keep selling you multiple products and saying that your skincare regime is never good enough and you need to buy this one and this one and this one. This one's just like, just take this. This is all you need and then you're good. Caleb's got his too over there. Men can use it too. The other creators that I'm doing this with are all men and I'm actually the only woman on board and I was like, I think women need this product too. Like I know men always have, you know, the three and one shampoo and stuff, but women need simplified skincare as well. As men, I think it's great to have like a unisex product. But I can genuinely say after using this product for a couple months, I fell absolutely in love with it. And I just want to give you guys the opportunity to make your skincare routine very, very simple. And you can check out 1UP if you want. There's a link in the description below and you can use code CHRIS to get 25% off. That is the biggest reduction in price that we're going to have just for the opening. You can also get a subscription base as well. Um, but again, if you're interested, go check it out. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I don't recommend many skincare products because a lot don't work for me, but this one's worked for me a lot and I'm backing it as well. So I'm putting my name on it as well. I love it. So anyway, let's get into the rest of the video. Okay, so now we're gonna cover up my zits because <laughs> it's your girl's time of the month. 
and she's breaking out. Can't really avoid that, but it's all right. We all break out sometimes and it's normal. But yeah, so I'm moving, which is scary and also extremely exciting. I have never personally lived with another person. Like I've spent extended periods of time with Caleb, obviously, and we've known each other for quite a long time now, longer than you guys know. And I never thought I would end up with anybody, let alone move in with somebody, you know, plan to spend my life with that person. And then Caleb just came trotting into my life, you know, and he kind of just disrupted that mentality. I plan to have 50 dogs on a farm in the middle of Canada. All right. And he just <laughs> it all up in a good way. But yeah, and little Kev Meister, Kevin, he's going to be coming with me and it's just going to be a new adventure. And I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. But uh, that also means that I'm going to be moving away from my family, which is tough because I'm really close with my family. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this. A lot of you have probably moved away or gone to school or or maybe you're younger and you're thinking about it but i'm really close with my family but i think that um facetiming them on a regular basis and hopefully being able to have them down here and visiting is going to be good and nice but that's probably the part that i'm most scared of is just kind of like getting out of my own comfort zone because i don't have a lot of friends and one of my best friends selena she lives on the other side of canada so i live here and selena lives here and then caleb lives down here and then jay lives way the yeah. over here so just everybody's like spread out and I I, I do have other friends in Canada and stuff. What I'm trying to say is my family, they are truly like my best friends, which might be sad. I don't know if some of you can relate to that. And I just had, I, I just had a nephew. I had my own nephew. <laughs> my sister just had a baby, little George, and I'm sad because I won't be able to see him every day like I have been when I live up there. But you know, there's sacrifices that you have to make and, and I'm okay with that. And I'm, I'm excited to move on to my own new chapter and be happy because this is truly, truly the happiest I've been since I can remember. I genuinely, I don't know, maybe when I was like a kid and I know people, um, sorry. <laughs> Pause. I'm gonna move on to blush. <laughs> so I also for my routine, I don't put on foundation. I just do some concealer and then some blush or whatever. I'm just gonna keep moving up. Using the Rare Beauty blush, believe. Anyway, yeah, being on the internet as a couple is interesting to say the least. I know I asked for it because I'm on the internet so I'm gonna get opinions no matter what. But um, I know that me saying I'm gonna be moving to the States is gonna like, for some reason, disrupt people's lives. So they're gonna be like, I can't believe I'm going to the States just for a boy and you're gonna leave your family. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. It's not your life, bitch. All right. Just be happy for me. No, but it was not a light decision at all. Okay. I'm not a spontaneous per person. I wish, I wish I was spontaneous, but I'm not. This was a very thoughtful decision. Sometimes when you know, you know, you know, and I have been traveling like nonstop for like over a year now. And it's exhausting to have to move back and forth. And for those people that have long distance relationships, you know, the struggle, you know, and I am very lucky that I have been able to see him as often as I, I, I can. I'm very lucky. I absolutely realize that, but I'm just at a place right now. You know, I'm pushing third. I'm at a place right now where I know what I want. I'm not like my dumb 20, 20 year old self anymore. I've finally gotten to a place where I'm more confident in my decisions and myself and Caleb's absolutely helped with that. And I'm so grateful for that. Yeah. I'm just, I, but not for a moment. I think we've been talking about this for the past like six months and not for a moment have I wavered, which is like rare for me because I'm an anxiety ridden bitch. I'm putting on some like highlighter. I don't know what this is. Charlotte Tilbury. Get out, bitch. Focus. You guys know this. You guys don't care. It's Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know. And it makes my cheeks glow. Okay. A little on the tip of the nose because we want to look sweaty for some reason. <laughs> little healthy glow. I'm just gonna like touch up my nose a little bit, my zits. Um, but yeah, I, I have, uh, not only is Caleb my partner now, but he's also um, a business partner, which has been so fun. People always are like, don't work with your spouse or don't work with the person that you're with. But honestly, it's been the most fun I've ever had working, whether it's filming with him or working on the sour candy with him. We can both be super creative. And I know you guys have loved Kev's candy that we came out with and we're coming out with more. It's just been a wild ride and adventure and it's something we're both super super passionate about don't worry i'm not going to turn into a couple's channel okay but once in a blue moon he's going to show up on the channel and also we are thinking of doing because of your guys' suggestions you're, you guys were like oh make your own channel with him so i think that we're actually going to be doing our own like podcast channel which i think would be really fun just because you know we're just two idiots that have stuff to say and for some reason you guys want to hear it so we're going to say it so let, let me know in the comments if that's something you guys want to see we're going to do it anyway 
Probably. But if you have name suggestions, that would be good too. That would be great. Oh, I forgot my eyebrows. Look at those blonde bitches. Also, oh, I forgot about this. Oh my God, I look so dorky with my hair <laughs> on my ears. I, not that this is, this is not a big deal at all. I'm going to change my hair color. <laughs> For some reason, that's a big decision for me. I feel like everybody gets used to my hair being a certain color. Benefit, pencil, brow, wand, or whatever. I'm gonna be changing my hair color. And I think I'm just like in my natural era lately. I think I wanna go closer to my natural color, which right now looks gray. It looks gray and decrepit, but it's like a dirty blonde. I might go back to that. I'm tired of the maintenance. I'm just a low maintenance bitch, hence the one up. I want life to be simple and I feel like being online there's just so much pressure to look a certain way and to have like these in-depth routines and to have the perfect eyebrows or the perfect this and you know makeup makeup and hair make me feel confident but at the same time it's like I don't want my life to revolve around that and I feel like a lot of our lives do and we all look up to these people that are just like not reachable in terms of like what they look like because I'm gonna tell you this right now 99% of the internet who's on the internet they have some sort of work done or you know they're not happy with themselves and they are doing things to look a certain way and i think that we have just unreasonable expectations of what we need to look like and i that's i mean that's why i give you guys you know i know i don't see you but i give you guys compliments every day because it's just like sometimes you just need to hear it even if it's like not directly to you but you need to be reminded that like the beauty standards and and all these all these just general standards are just insane and i can't even keep up with the men i don't you know i mean not that i haven't had and i'm not gonna be like i'm i haven't had any work done I'm, 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 which i've never had you know botox or fillers or any kind of plastic surgery or anything like that mostly because it scares the shit out of me to be honest but also i just i'm just like you know what i'm gonna get older and there's lots of things i look at the mirror and i want to change but i think it's really just me at the end of the day that hyper fixates on them i mean i know i have thousands of people always telling me what's right or what's wrong with me and that's hard sometimes but you know i gotta choose to ignore the bad and just absorb the good and you know what almost 100 percent of you guys are just so awesome and i so so appreciate it i just want you to know how, how awesome you are next step i'm gonna put some brow gel in i think it's benefit i don't know because i've used it so much that the labels worn off oh i like the benefit brow gel the most i don't know why probably because it's the first brow gel i got and i've never tried another one but yeah you know i'm all for people enhancing themselves to make themselves feel better but i am not for people comparing themselves to one another because you don't know what that other person is going through and doing to themselves so just just stop stop comparing yourself i'm so guilty for it and i'm just you know calling the kettle black but it's something I'm working on constantly because I'm in this space and I'm like, oh my gosh, these people like have beautiful voluptuous lips and this person has a beautiful voluptuous butt and this person's super skinny in this. And I'm just tired, I'm tired, I'm old, I'm decrepit on the internet. I'm just starting to become good with how I am. And I hate that it's taken, you know, 30 years almost for that to be a to happen. So I hope if you're younger than me, translucent in, powder by Laura Mercier. If you're younger than me, you learn that quicker than I did because shit, life moves fast, man. I blinked when I was 19 and I'm now almost 28. Shoo, it's crazy. I'm literally just gonna splat this all over my face to just get rid of some shine. Little on the nose, little on that. <laughs> I don't know if this is any good. This is genuinely how I do my makeup. Most, this is more, this is more. I usually just do concealer and a little bit of blush and this. Half the time I don't even put eye makeup on anymore, which I never, I would never walk out of the house when I was a teenager, even early twenties. You would never catch me walking out of the house with no eye makeup on. Lately, I just don't give a and I know you guys have probably seen some videos of where I'm like, I'm really looking natural faced and like a 12 year old boy a little bit. Sometimes I'm not gonna care. Sometimes I really like doing my makeup and it's super fun and I'm gonna look all glammed up. Sometimes I'm gonna look like I did at the beginning of this video and you're just gonna have to be okay with it. And I know you are, cause you guys are supportive as but I'm gonna show you guys a mascara I've really been enjoying and it is the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes by Charlotte Tilbury, this one. And it's, um, it's like a red brown and it goes really nice with my hair. I really like it. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I don't have very nice lashes. Usually I'll curl them, but I'm too lazy right now. I'm gonna do this. But yeah, so I'm moving and I'm moving very soon. I literally fly out of Texas tomorrow at 5 a.m. And Caleb and I are gonna be moving in together in a different house with Kevin. And Kevin's gonna meet Petey and Frankie and he's gonna get two little sisters. It's gonna be such a happy, fun little family. And we'll make content together and stuff. It'll be so fun. But 
Uh, for the move, I was thinking that it would be fun to vlog some of it driving across America by myself. So let me know if you guys want to see that and what you guys want to see me doing that. Because it's like a 30 hour drive and it should be fun. But let me know if you guys want to see like kind of a couple vlogs or something. I know my content's kind of slowly evolving over time. I just kind of make what I want to make and you guys seem to like, you know, most of it. But yeah, I think some vlogs would be fun to do. So if you want to see some of that, just let me know in the comments below. Look at that. Oh, I think that's so fun. It's like, I don't know if you guys can, I know the lighting is ass in here. I'm sorry. Here's your two coats. Yay. You can see this. Look at this mascara. Isn't it nice? Oh, I like it a lot. You guys should tell me, what color should I do my hair? Should I go back to like a, a dirty blonde? I haven't been a dirty blonde before since I've been a kid. Should I go back to like a blondish color or should I like go maybe back to a lighter ginger color? I don't know. Either way, this is the finished look. It's really not that intense, but <laughs> that's about it. But yeah, so recap, I'm moving. I partnered with a skincare brand that's backed by some awesome creators and it's not white labeled or anything. It's stuff that we actually worked on really hard and it contains a lot of great ingredients and you should check it out. Going on a road trip soon to move with Kev and, and I'm in love and I'm very excited to see where life takes me right now. I'm excited to make new content for you guys and I love you guys. I really appreciate you guys. Sorry for this very shitty setting of the video, but I kind of enjoyed it. I like our little recaps, our little one-on-one -on -one moments. So I will be back in full swing in the funnies or the true crime or whatever I'm doing in the next video. But I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me for this little get ready with me and update. And I will see your beautiful face in the next video. Okay, bye.